Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Aaron Bardwaj and you are welcome to The Performer. The four basic punches in modern boxing are the jab, the cross, the hook and the uppercut. Let's talk about the jab. Jab is a quick straight punch thrown with the lead hand from the guard position. The jab is accompanied by a small clockwise rotation of torso and hips while the fist rotates 90 degrees becoming horizontal upon impact. As the punch reaches full extension, the lead shoulder is brought up to guard the chin. The rear hand remains next to the face to guard the jaw. After making contact with the target, the lead hand is retracted quickly to resume a guard position in front of the face. The jab is the most important punch in a boxer's arsenal because it provides a fair amount of its own cover and it leaves the least amount of space for counter punch from the opponent. It has the longest reach of any punch and does not require commitment or large weight transfer. Due to its relatively weak power, the jab is often used as a tool to gauge distances, probe an opponent's defenses and set up heavier, more powerful punches. A half a step may be added, moving the entire body into the punch or traditional power. Despite its lack of raw power, however, the jab is often considered to be the most important punch in boxing. Usable not only for attack but also defense, as a good, quick, stiff jab can interrupt a much more powerful punch, such as hook or uppercut. The cross, a powerful straight punch thrown with the rear hand from the guard position. The rear hand is thrown from the chin, crossing the body, traveling towards the target in a straight line. The rear shoulder is thrust forward and finishes just touching the outside of the chin. At the same time, the lead hand is retracted and tucked against the face to protect the inside of the chin. For additional power, the torso and hips are rotated counterclockwise as the cross is thrown. Weight is also transferred from the rear foot to the lead foot, resulting in the rear heel turning outwards as it acts as fulcrum for the transfer of weight. Body rotation and the sudden weight transfer is what gives the cross its power. Like the jab, a half step forward may be added. After the cross is thrown, the hand is retracted quickly and the guard position resumed. It can be used to counterpunch a jab, aiming for the opponent's head, or a counter to a cross aimed at the body, or to set up a hook. The cross can also follow a jab, creating the classic one-two combo. The cross is also called a straight or right. The cross has been widely disputed as one of the most powerful, if not the single most powerful punch in the boxer's arsenal. The hook, a semicircular punch thrown with the lead hand to the side of the opponent's head. From the guard position, the elbow is drawn back with a horizontal fist, knuckles pointing forward and the elbow bent. The rear hand is tugged firmly against the jaw to protect the chin. The torso and hips are rotated clockwise. Propelling the fist through a tight clockwise arc across the front of the body and connecting with the target. At the same time, the lead foot pivots clockwise, turning the left heel outwards. Upon contact, hook's circular path ends abruptly and the lead hand is pulled quickly back into the guard position. A hook may also target the lower body, the classic Mexican hook to the liver. And this technique is sometimes called the rib to distinguish it from the conventional hook to the head. The hook may also be thrown with the rear hand. The uppercut. A vertical rising punch thrown with the rear hand. From the guard position, the torso shifts slightly to the right. The rear hand drops below the level of the chest and goes to the chin of the opponents, the knees are bent slightly. From this position, 
The rear hand is thrust upwards in a rising arc towards the opponent's chin or torso. At the same time, the knees push forwards quickly and the torso and hips rotate counterclockwise and the rear heel turns outward, mimicking the body movement of the cross. The strategic utility of the uppercut depends on its ability to lift the opponent's body, setting it off balance for successive attacks. The right uppercut followed by a left hook is a powerful combination. These punching types can be combined to form combos like a jab and cross combo, nicknamed the 1-2 combo. It is really effective combination because the jab blinds the opponent and the cross is powerful enough to knock the opponent out. For more videos and fighting tips, Subscribe, like, share and make sure to write your comments below. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. See you soon in the next episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you subscribe the channel clicking on the red button below? Did you? Alright guys, have a nice time and take care.